Caleb, um, I'm not quite sure if I necessarily have a favorite memory of shooting the film, um, but I definitely have a lot of um, memories of shooting all the underwater sequences. I definitely have a lot of memories and feelings. Uh, I remember feeling really anxious at the time um, as to how I was going to pull off these really difficult scenes um, and how to make you know my characters look like they're actually underwater um, obviously you know in today's world where people are so familiar and so sophisticated with you know with films in general that I knew that I had to really up my game to create a world and an environment that people um, can believe um, is actually happening and uh, and so I had a lot of anxieties shooting those scenes um, those were definitely my memories uh, of what it was like shooting this film um, and definitely memories of hanging my actors in these crazy rigs and harnesses to make them look like they're floating through an underwater space well, James, that's a very good question. What do Atlanteans eat? Um, I guess, you know, what you have to do is do what I do when I design this world is try and put myself in the shoes of these characters. So I try to look at them like how I would look at certain things that we do here on the surface world. So I imagine, you know, um, you know, uh, we eat plants here, right? So I imagine they would eat plants as well, but their version of plants would obviously be like seaweed, kelp, um, you know, just whatever stuff that can grow underwater. And uh, and of course, you know, we, um, you know, as humans up here are uh, meat eaters as well, you know, with like chicken, chicken, beef, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I imagine they would probably uh, farm fish as well, maybe. Um, but, uh, but at what point does that become carnivorous? Uh, um, uh, sorry. Uh, and then wonder at what point does that become cannibalistic? Because some of the characters are actually fish people themselves. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe the fish people, the, the mer people, uh, um, only eat plants. James from the United States asks, what do they eat in Atlantis? Kelp? Oh, unintelligent fish? Come on, fish aren't unintelligent. Asking for a little brother who is fond of sea life, as am I. As am I, James. I'm a, I'm a huge sea creature fan, um, even prior to playing Orm. Um, what do they eat in Atlantis? I think everything that they can. Um, I can uh, shuck an oyster like you've never seen. Uh, and I don't need no stinking tools. Um, and I would say they, they probably do eat kelp, it's high in protein, vitamins, super important for not only humans, but also Atlanteans, and, um, and lots of fish. Yes, we eat lots of fish. Um, does that make us cannibals? That's, that's gonna be a bigger discussion. Um, when the children aren't around. The, uh, the superpowers uh, that Aquaman has that I would love is the ability to breathe underwater, I guess, like a lot of people, right? To be able to breathe underwater and then go on these incredible adventures of just swimming underwater, discovering things, right? Uh, you know, the fact that we haven't discovered much of our ocean yet pretty much says that we are not obviously capable of going that deep. We can't stand the pressure and, and obviously, you know, we, we can't breathe that, uh, that uh, underwater has breathed that long as well. So if you have the ability to be able to stand the pressure and breathe underwater, I think it'd be a pretty amazing experience. Amberish, I would say yes. Um, just like the first movie, had a touch of my horror sensibility in it, you know, in, in regards to the trench sequence. I would say there'll be a little bit of that in this next one. Um, I, I think it's something that's a big part of who I am and, uh, and it just naturally comes out in these kind of films uh, and especially a movie like Aquaman, you know, where the story takes place in these in these underwater worlds that can be very scary. And so naturally, you know, my love for the horror genre just means that I latch myself to these scenes and uh, and try to kind of, you know, give them a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more of my scary source on them. That's a good question, Jaden. Good question. Which DC character would I want to bring along 
on an adventure. Well, it depends. If it's an adventure in the Aquaman movies, um, any of them are amazing. I love all of them, you know, from Wonder Woman to Superman to Flash to Swamp Thing. I, I love all these characters. Um, but I don't know, like, this is something really special, I guess, about Superman because he's like, supposed to be the embodiment of uh, all things that is good about mankind, I guess. And, uh, and the fact that he's an immigrant uh, makes him even more special to me. The fact that uh, he came from another planet to this planet and did something great with, uh, with his abilities and uh, to use that to further, you know, to better humankind. I, I think he is a uh, really great role model. Um, and he might be a cool guy just to hang out with. D-A-V-I, I'm going to say Davi. Uh, I won't say Davy, unless you go by Davy in Brazil. But I'm going to say Davi, because I feel like that's fancier. So, Davi, if I've screwed your name up, I apologize. In Brazil, the official t title of Aquaman 2 is 